हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक सो विदाउट एनी डिले लेट स्टार्ट दी वीडियो तो इट इज अ डायरेक्ट ट्रांसफर मेथड इन दिस वी जस्ट इंजेक्ट आवर डीएनए इन साइड द सेल जस्ट सिंपल एज दैट वी टेक डीएनए इन टू अज एंड इंजेक्ट दैट डीएनए टू द सेल दिस टेक्निक इज जनरली यूज फॉर द सेल्स विच आर लार्ज इन साइज लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल ओ साइट सो दिस इज जनरली यूज फॉर ओ साइट सो इन दिस द डीएनए इज डायरेक्टली इंजेक्टेड इन टू टिश्यू और मसल और एनी इंटरनल ऑर्गन सो That DNA when it is injected directly into the cell, so that DNA it is you can say injected at the right place where you want to inject it. So advantages of this micro injection that frequency of stable integration is far better as compared to other method. Means in this the DNA which we integrate or which we transfer that is stable or that is stably integrated because we are just directly micro injecting our DNA into the cell. So this method is. far better as compared to other method other methods in comparison of the stable integration next it is effective in transforming primary cells as well as in established culture means this method is very effective if we want to transform our primary cell by the introduction of external genes and the dna injected in this process it is subjected to less extensive modification means the dna which we are injected by using this process then that dna do not suffer from more modification means there is very less modification in the dna and there is a very precise integration means the position where we want to inject our dna we can inject our dna by using this micro injection technique so these are some advantages of this technique this technique also have some disadvantages like first of all it is costly technique because you have to pay or pay very much to use this technique second the skilled person is required because uh, you can say that person who who is very skilled in using this technique that is required to carry out the transfection if you want to use micro injection as a method of choice and it is you can it is generally used more useful for animal cells means if you want to use it for the plant cells then it cannot be used more efficiently because the plant cells they have cell wall so in that case micro injection doesn't work properly but it is useful for animal cells and in that case generally the embryonic cells they are preferred for the manipulation because if you want to micro inject dna then as compared to adult cell you have to prefer the embryonic cells and this is method you can so you can say this method is generally useful for protoplast and it is not for the cells that have the cell wall which i just I told you that it is more useful for the animal cell because they do not have cell walls so these are the some limitation of this technique that is micro injection so that's all for today guys see you in the next video thank you very much